Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me show you how to create uh, this auto material in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, first of all, let's create a simple level. To do that, uh, go third person, my project, create. Okay, the next step, we will create a new level over here. New level, click basic, and let's create a simple landscape. Go to landscape shift tool, and over here, just hit create. If I go back to selection mode, I will go over here and delete this floor. We don't need it. Okay, if I go back to the landscape mode, I can use this scalp tool to make some uh, simple kills. Go back to the selection mode and let's add our materials and create the auto material. First step is to create our master material. Just right click in the content browser and go here, material. You can name it how you want, for example master and don't forget to save with Control shift and s the next step is to create a material functions uh, to do that right click and go to material and over here you can see material function we need two material functions one for the dirt and one for the grass so let's uh, for example type in a dirt and go another for the grass next step is to add material to our uh, material function uh, already we have our materials in uh, starter content but if you want you can also go up here and choose uh, the materials from the quixel bridge it's up to you i will go with the starter content i don't have it right now so i just right click over here and click add feature content pack go to content and click on the starter content and wait for a few seconds and we have a starter quoted in the content browser on the left first of all let's open the grass material function just double click it you can dock it up here and now let's add material to do that i will control uh, and space to open my content uh, drawer over here i will go to starter content go to materials and you can type in grass and you will get this uh, grass uh, ground material so just double click it to open it don't worry about all these notes it will be simple i promise Control a to select everything and if i zoom in uh, hold Control to deselect only this one now just copy go to the grass function and over here paste it Oops. like this and move it a bit here the next step is uh, to create a node that's called make material attributes so right click and make material attributes hit enter and we'll now need to connect this we don't know uh, from start where to connect so we go back to our grass material and you can see this lerp is connected to base color so we connect lerp with the base color you can see it over here this constant one is uh, connected to roughness so connect it to roughness and over here this lerp is connected with normal connect it with normal and connect everything to the output result and you can see on the left side that we have our material uh, you can save everything with Control shift and s save your level as a new level and hit over here apply Okay, we have a material function for the grass. Now let's do this for the dirt. Just open the dirt material function. Over here, go control and space and type in ground and you'll see this ground gravel. Just double click to open it. And as usual, control A to select everything and hold control and select this M ground gravel to deselect it. Control C to copy everything else and go back to the dirt function and paste it over here now we need make material attributes node connect it with the output result and over here check out how this is connected go back to the uh, ground gravel and you can see this multiply is a base color multiply with the base color this lerp is with the roughness And over here, this lerp is with the normal. And you can hit apply and save. And we have our second material. The next step is to open our master material. Go back and open master material. And now hit control and space to open your drawer. Go to content. I will hit X over here. And now just uh, import your material function for dirt and grass. Just drag and drop it to the uh, blueprint. Move dirt here and move grass over here. And to connect everything, we need to add our break material attributes node. So just type in break 
material attributes and connect it there with the or here with the attribute node. Uh, duplicate this break material attributes and connect the grass. The next step is to add our lerp node. So just right click and type in lerp and we will connect with base color with the A over here from dirt and base color from our grass to the B. Make sure to connect uh, this as you can see exactly like this because the dirt will be our main material. If you want uh, grass to be main material, just connect uh, grass to the A and dirt to the B. Hit apply and save because Unreal crashed for me like three times while making this video, which is very strange. Okay, the next node will be responsible for how we blend these uh, two materials uh, to get our grass and dirt. Just right click and type in world align blend now just connect this alpha from this to the alpha of our lerp move this over here a bit and connect with the base color hit apply and save in order to control our blend we need to have two scalar parameters so we will use the material instance i will explain everything later but uh, make these two perimeters one will be blend and uh, one will be sharpness and blend connect to the blend and sharpness to the sharpness, like this. If you use this uh, scalar parameters, so we'll be able to edit it uh, in real time, so we don't need to move every time to our master material. I will show you how to do that if you are not familiar with the uh, material instances. Okay, the next thing, we select your sharpness and default value over about uh, 45, 50, if you want, like this. And our blend to be default value, something like minus five. And uh, you can already see on the left side that we have our uh, two materials in uh, one material. Okay, the next step is to add another LERP node. Because we want to control our roughness and our normal. For our roughness, connect roughness from our dirt to the A and roughness to the B. And connect this alpha with the alpha of our LERP. Just like we did with this LERP over here. I can move it so you can see it better and connect this to the roughness. Hit apply and save. Okay, let's do this for our normal. Just uh, right click, lerp, and connect normal A and normal for our grass to be B. And for our alpha, uh, you might uh, think it's alpha to alpha, but uh, it will be explicit normal to alpha, like this. I will move it here and connect it to the norm. This hit apply and save. We can uh, save everything and close our nodes. Make sure to apply all the changes. I will leave this master material open so I can explain you the uh, scalar perimeters. Now go back over here. You can also save everything. And we have master material. Now we want to make an instance. So right click on it and create material instance. Just hit enter. Okay, now select your uh, landscape on the right side and go down there. And now instead dragging your master material, you can do that. You can drag master material to your uh, landscape material, but we created this instance so we can drag and drop it here. So we can uh, edit uh, those parameters because it's easier and it's alive. If you want to edit those, you will need to go every time, go back to the master and edit those. And also, if I double click it, you can see that we have this blend and sharp nodes over here. Blend and sharp. So just enable them. You can close master material. Uh, everything is still the same. So we need to edit. Open your material instance. Like this. And now you can play with the sharp, for example. Or with the blend. And if you change the blending, uh, we can go to the landscape uh, tool and create more mountains. And if I go F11, you can see our uh, materials are blending nicely with each other. If you want to change the blending or sharpness, just uh, change these values over here. For example, I will go like this. And if you go with this sharpness, you can see how they blend together and you have uh, nice uh, blended materials uh, for your level. And if I click play from here, And this is it. If you find this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments below. You can also check out my other Unreal Engine 5 uh, beginner friendly tutorials on my channel. Until then, uh, have a nice day uh, with your landscapes and bye bye.